Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look on the gold market. So you can see gold has shown really extended upward performance. Uh, but if you compare it with the um, action on the other markets, for example, on euro currency, you will not see the same performance on the forex. It means that the background on the gold and actually recent action to the upside stands not mostly not due of the not due to Fed Reserve statement, but mostly due to geopolitical tensions that are again starting speeding up on the Middle East. And uh, indirect confirmation for that you could find on the performance on the 10 year bonds. Yes, 10 year bonds has dropped extremely, so it's really very strong drop in yields. Uh, yields, of course, uh, the bonds have, have arised, but the yields has dropped to the 4% four, uh, 4 almost. And this is definitely not the reaction on the rate change because rate change was priced in already and Jerome Powell said nothing really new. So mostly the market has expected that and actually this has happened. This is because of the Middle East. And uh, that's why actually the trading plan that we discussed yesterday, we said uh, whatever will happen, whether Fed will cut rate in July or it just will announce to rate cut anyway, you could consider taking the long position just because uh, our prediction should happen. It's only might be a bit different. So if July rate cut could happen, this probably will be more extended. Uh, in opposite scenario, it will be not as extended. So, but Middle East has add some fuel to the fire and you can see what has happened. So trend has turned bullish, but uh, on the gold market at this point, we have really tricky moment. I suspect that uh, this tricky moment should be resolved and really big chances that market still on next week could keep going higher and taking out of the stop. The reason for that is that, that because the confrontation between the Israel and Iran just is started and it, it even not in some hot stage and we even haven't got the uh, response of the from the Iran on recent attack on Tehran. So it means that the major escalation probably still stands ahead and it still will make impact on the gold. That's why this tricky moment that we have, I will show you right now, uh, it might be well, it might be cancelled by the geopolitical factor. So if we'll take a look at the door, uh, at, at the weekly chart of the gold, you could see that here we have first grabber, which was mostly cancelled by this action. And, but now you can see that we could get another one because we don't know where market will close. If tomorrow market will still close above the emissary, that's great. So this problem will be resolved and we should be ready for further upper continuation. But if grabber will be formed, uh, it still will remain tricky because of the reasons that I have just explained. It's mostly because of the geopolitical factors. Uh, in general, this kind of action in relation to this grabber, it's already stands a bit irrational. So, and if you combine the market actually send demand and background that stands below this grabber and this performance, it could show you clearly that sentiment remains bullish. Here's some uh, bulls have taken the lead and just reverse the situation is up a direction. So this is very strong action and st strong uh, t strong moment from the from the bulls. So that's why um, even that's potentially here's my big rubble. We should be uh, really well uh, careful about its potential so it might it might be not working so just keep in mind this this might be important and lower time frame in general a picture stands uh, bullish so you could see that on the four hour time frame chart upward extension has happened straightforward so we haven't got any pullback with this forming of the shoulder so let's keep watching what will happen around this area on the hourly chart, market has completed upside XOP target. It's around 24.50. Now it stands in a retracement. Uh, so with this pullback, I would keep watching for some kind of this cluster. It's around 24.20. 20. 
So we have first confluence, second confluence, and 24, 20 stands somewhere in between. So this is some, some kind of the really solid area that could support market and uh, become the background, become the, uh, the foundation where market could uh, just start moving to the upside once again. So let's just keep watching what will happen. Um, another tricky moment why I'm you know, in general start speaking about these grabbers and uh, this we should need to keep an eye on this uh, performance it will be important stands on the dollar index because you could see what really has happened dollar, in dollar index we've got the bullish grabber grabber suggest upper reduction above this area this uh, grabber is of the smaller scale stands on the daily chart so that's why I wouldn't rely directly this grabber to the weekly grabbers on the gold market Mostly, this grabber could trigger a bit deeper retracement on the daily chart. So, uh, so this downward action might be a bit deeper to the downside on the gold market if this grabber starts working. But just, I, I show you two major moments to keep an eye on. First of all, control the situation dollar index with this grabber, watch what performance might be. Uh, for now, we could say that's probably might be some kind of the, uh, sorry, a B C D passion suggesting a bit deeper retracement on the gold as well on the gold worst keep watching for support area that's potentially might be suitable for taking the long position once again so and the third moment that's unfortunately out of our control keep an eye what's going on in the middle east because if there's will be clearly signs of the escalation just forget about the weekly grabbers on the gold market it's probably will keep going higher uh, so that's just our two cents on the situation in the gold.